can I see your badge, like, so that I have your name right? Thank you very much. We're here sitting with Mona Polaka, and she is one of the... The International Council of 13 Indigenous Grandmothers. I'm very honored to be with you today in the water couch. Um, you're all here. It's the 13, are the 13 indigenous grandmothers represented here today? I'm, I'm the only grandmother that came. Oh. <laughs> the um, grandmothers come from all over the world, so yeah. it was only possible to bring one of us. Okay. And um, what is, what is the, your, the, the main purpose of your visit? Well, the main purpose of my visit is to have uh, indigenous representation, uh, the concerns of indigenous people throughout the world regarding water for our people, uh, our lands, and uh, also to um, hear what um, what the dialogue is that is uh, taking place among the the. Um, the uh, nation, states, uh, the civil society, and uh, other organizations that are here at this um, event. And what are the challenges in terms of, uh, yeah, why is it so necessary to represent the indigenous people uh, in this in these conversations, basically? Basically, because at this point in time. Uh, indigenous uh, lands and territories are uh, sources of um, waters that uh, are being targeted for uh, extraction, uh, for uh, damming, uh, for hydro, hydro um, electricity, other uses that um, that have um, are threatening the existence of indigenous people who live in these areas where the water sources are. And um, what will be, um, um, what will make you happy when leaving this conference? Um, what 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 will need what will need to be one of the conclusions, basically, of the multi-stakeholder dialogue that's ongoing today? Well, one of the things that I I've heard numerous times in in some of the dialogue that's occurred already is is the importance of considering water, uh, the water resources, without conflict. Uh, the, even the mention of the word peace in relation to uh, water as a resource, as well as water that would be available uh, or access to water globally for all people. And it's, um, it's important to me to hear that and it's also important to actualize that. That would make me happy to see that be actualized, include, which would include indigenous people in the world. One more question. So how did you become one of these respected grandmothers? What does it take? <laughs> well, uh, actually, it, uh, apparently there were some people who recognized the work that I've done. I work in community organizing. I work in uh, the preservation of uh, culture of, it, of uh, indigenous people, primarily in Native uh, North America, the Native American um, uh, people. And uh, I was there were some there was a meeting of uh, between indigenous women and Western women, and I was invited to attend that meeting. And that was where the grandmothers of the world came together for the first time and that was where the concept of the Council of 13 Indigenous Grandmothers was born. There were 13 of us that came to this uh, conference and um, there were many other factors that were related to some prophecy and as well as um, some of the historical uh, teachings about grandmothers and the number 13 and that was how we came together. Thank you so much for uh, for this interview and uh, I hope you enjoy the rest of the day. Thank you so much for having me. I'm okay. glad I'm here.